you're about to be taxed for every mile you drive deep within the infrastructure bill there is a provision to tax you for every single mile to basically connect your odometer to a cash register for the government so when you see those miles tick over mile by mile you know that that's dollars coming out of your pocket all you realtors truck drivers uber drivers uh you know lyft uber eats everybody that drives okay even passenger cars you don't have to be in business for this to hit you but if you are in business at least you can pass it on to your customers and businesses will which will further raise prices okay you were lied to told that you know you wouldn't be seeing any tax increases that that was only for the rich but the reality is the rich have businesses most often and those businesses have a ton of tax benefits that come along with them so you can't get the money that they need trillions and trillions of dollars you can't get that just from the rich you could confiscate every dime of the Bezos and the Musk and the Buffets of the world. You could take every single dime out of their pocket right now. And you could run this government for maybe six months, if that. So they're going to get the money from the largest available pot of money, which is you, the middle class. You who do not have that corporate shield to provide you with tax benefits. They even, uh, you know, a lot of people demonize, demonize the tax benefit by calling it a loophole. It's not a loophole. It's a provision of the law, okay? And these provisions, you can use them too if you have a proper business structure uh, and you have a, you know, a real business that is uh, providing value to the marketplace. But I digress. Let's get into what's going on here uh, with this particular provision that's going to take even more money out of your pocket, which is going to result in higher prices. Listen, go ahead, subscribe. If you have subscribed, I thank you. Like the video. If you do not like this content, emphasize it by hitting the thumbs down twice. All right, MCE crew, let's get into it. Under the auspices of the infrastructure bill, the federal government is instituting a pilot program that will eventually result in taxing you for every single mile that you drive all right despite what president biden said we're looking at a tax on driving okay every mile you drive that means you realtor you uber driver you mr truck driver uh, or just you know person that chills out all day and maybe makes a couple of runs to starbucks in that car also think you're going to escape it by using public transportation absolutely not that tax will be included in the public transportation fee that you pay so look for that to go up as well the 1.2 trillion dollar bipartisan infrastructure accord would institute a multi-year national motor vehicle per mile user fee pilot program that without future intervention from the white house could potentially violate one of joe biden's previously stated red lines top white house officials emphatically stated for months that paying for the infrastructure investments by indexing gas taxes to inflation or instituting a new electric vehicle mileage fee were hard red lines for the president on the grounds that they would raise taxes on people earning less than 400 grand per year. So you thought you were going to buy that EV and escape all of these taxation schemes? Not hardly. And I will say this, look, uh, the government does maintain the roads and the bridges and that's fine, but there needs to be a lot more accountability and transparency transparency in terms of how that money is spent let's continue here yet the new per mile user fee pilot outlined in section 13002 of the bill does legislate i'm sorry does leave those people open to tax vulnerabilities pegged to personal vehicle mileage transportation secretary Buttigieg and treasury secretary yellen are directed to provide recommendations to congress three years into the pilot's life cycle, at which time Congress could choose to pass new legislation implementing national per mile fees fully as an established funding source for infrastructure improvements. So they're gonna run this pilot program for three years. Uh, then the Secretary of the Treasury and the Secretary of Transportation, if they're Democrats, let's just be honest, they're going to look at this and say, yeah, let's go ahead and roll this out big time and uh, make this something that we do going forward. Uh, Pete Buttigieg actually talked about this in his campaign. This is one of his ideas to help pay for infrastructure. 
So you know he's in favor of it already. Still, White House officials disputed the idea that the inclusion of the pilot program in the infrastructure bill guarantees the establishment of a future nationalized mileage fee and suggested that depending on how Buttigieg and Yellen's recommendations shake out, the White House could oppose legislation implementing the tax. Total BS. That's just trying to put a velvet glove on an iron fist. Uh, they're going to go ahead with this, as I stated just a moment ago, Yellen, uh, Buttigieg was already talking about it and Yellen. She was out there talking about uh, taxing unrealized capital gains. So you know she'd be in favor of this. The program itself <clears throat> directs Buttigieg and Yellen to, quote, establish on an annual basis per mile user fees for, get this, passenger motor vehicles, like the one you drive, light trucks, like that pickup, the guy drives that does your landscaping, he's going to have to pass this on to you, uh, and medium and heavy duty trucks. Like the tractor trailers that bring all your goods to Walmart and Target. Okay, so there's going to be an increase there too. Which amounts may vary between vehicle types and weight classes to reflect estimated impacts on infrastructure, safety, congestion, the environment, or other related social impacts. So if you thought you were getting away from this, again, with the EV, no. You might get a break in terms of the environmental aspect of it. But then again, maybe not. They might look at that and say, hey, well, the disposal of these batteries is pretty uh, environmentally hazardous so we got to go ahead and include the EVs in the full brunt of this that's probably what's going to happen all right so the pilot program is the Trojan horse that's going to allow the government to sneak this one by you before you know it you're going to wake up and there's going to be a per mile mileage tax and it's going to be easy to do if you don't counter it now then it'll be able to be hidden so far in some other piece of legislation that uh, it'll just pass without anyone even realizing what's going on. Even the senators and congressmen uh, and women up there on the uh, Hill, they don't, they don't read these bills, people, okay? They put their chosen codicils and amendments into it, and if they can get that in, they're not reading these bills, most of them. So this is going to be a reality, unless, you know, you might have... Um, some senator who watches this uh, platform, because I know they all do, uh, say, hey, Tyrone brought up a good point. There's this mileage tax out there. Let's take a look at that because that's going to hurt the poor. That's going to tax the middle class. And, um, you know, the, the wealthy are going to pass that on because the wealthy own businesses. OK, so they're going to pass that on to uh, you, the consumer. Even these small businesses, like I mentioned the landscaping guy with his pickup, if he's getting hit with his per mileage tax, he's got no choice but to pass it on because he's driving from your house to the house over there to the house over in the next county all around and this is impacting his or her bottom line. Okay, so that's what we got going on. We got these stealth taxes that are being proposed. They're gonna be implemented and they're gonna tax you. And you're not, you're thinking, well, I'm not rich. They promised me that I was only going to see taxes raised on the rich. And I'm not rich. Well, they lied to you. It's the government. What do you expect? All right, guys. So I hope you got a lot out of that. We'll keep an eye on it. And we'll track, see whether or not it makes it through. Talk to you soon.